Today, guys, is more of an actual talk with you. I'm not going to be showing you anything too special. I'm going to be talking a lot about the channel and stuff that we have that's coming up that's going to be really cool. But anyways, guys, let's get started. Okay, so there's a few things that I wanted to talk about that's going on on this channel here, and there's one of them that is stuff that's coming up in December. So I'm going to be doing a lot of really cool stuff with Christmas all throughout December. Uh, well, I'm going to be trying to do the 12 Days of Funko, whereas um, 12 days leading up to Christmas, I'm going to be doing a full Christmas video every day, and then I want to do a giveaway on Christmas, and then after Christmas, which would be the 26th for you guys, I'm going to do a full Christmas video with like gifts that we do, like opening up Christmas gifts, and doing just a bunch of really cool stuff that we got on Christmas or did on Christmas. We don't do too much. We have a little bit of family over, but that's pretty much it. But I think it'd be cool to kind of have that up um, after Christmas so we can see that for years later and later, for years to come, I mean. And then later on, um, actually, I, I watched actually last year's Christmas video, which is pretty cool. If you guys want to check that out, it's on the channel now. I believe it's called Christmas Day, So Many Pops or something like that. Anyways, it's there. You'll find it if you search up Christmas. But I was thinking about it, guys. Do you want me to do 12 Days of Funko? I'm probably going to do it just because I think it's really cool to build up with Christmas videos. I'm going to make it all Christmassy in here, and I'm going to do some really cool stuff. And on December 1st, we're going to be starting to open up the Funko Advent Calendar. We're going to do that every day in December, which is going to be really awesome. I ordered it off the Funko shop. It should be coming in sometime this week, I want to say. I'm picking it up. Maybe there will be a video on it for Friday or Saturday, depending on what day I pick it up. I have to go to the States to pick it up just because they won't ship it to Canada, which is really dumb. They'll let you ship it. If they'll let you buy it if you're Canadian, which is really hard to get actually. It took me a bit to figure that out. But um, you have to use uh, Amazon Pay instead of um, go through them. But you have to buy it through them, but they won't ship it to Canada. I don't understand that. Anyways, guys, um, that's one of the things that I wanted to talk about was just, you know, Christmas in general. Another thing is what's coming up in March. And so it's December, January, February, March. You got like five or six more months till we're going to March and uh, until we're at March. And what's going to be happening is we're going to, on a trip to New York. And I actually have a really special pop that's going to be coming in at the same time as the... Uh, the advent calendar, which I'm going to be showing you on the channel as well, and we're going to be doing a really cool video with that one once we go. I know I said it on my Instagram a while ago, but um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, follow me down there. I think it'd be really cool if you guys could. And I think once we hit 5,000 followers on Instagram, we're going to be doing a giveaway. So if you guys want to follow me over there, we're almost at we're at 3.7, almost 3.8 right now. I'm trying to get to 5K. Once we hit 5K, guys, I'm going to do a giveaway on there. So guys, go check it out down there. Probably like some pops or something. I don't know yet, but um, once we do, I'll figure that out. Now everything but that's one of the things that I wanted to talk about and um, another thing that I wanted to talk about actually guys um, the pop that I'm getting in for the March break thing I'm not telling you till that video which is coming up on Saturday but um, another thing that I want to talk about guys is I have so many pops and I'm not going to be reviewing all of these like I'll give you an example here like Pedro from Napoleon Dynamite. You're not going to see just a full day video on this because it's kind of small and not everybody's interested in this. But would you guys like it? Maybe I'll try it out over Christmas break because I have a bit of time off. I was thinking I do a pop review in the morning of someone like this that's maybe a four to five minute video and then at two o'clock like normal I would do my normal videos where I do a pop hunt, pop review, like a bigger pop review, like maybe something like the the three pack from Walmart, the Best Bin three pack. And I know they're not in there, but they're they're on the shelf somewhere. But like that, guys, maybe I do something different where it's a bigger video or a bigger review or something like that. Not just one of these pops. It's kind of small that I picked up one day just because I like the character. I was thinking about that, guys. But if you have anything about that or if you have any ideas for that one, just put it in the comment section below. I've been thinking about that one for a while. Um, but if you guys have any opinions on that, just put it down below. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, like me doing other videos besides Funko and the main one is Munchpack really and Munchpack is one of those things that I know a lot of you guys like but a lot of you guys don't like so if I'm probably going to be doing Munchpacks maybe once or twice a month. I mean, it's not that big, and we'll always have someone different on there. Last time we had Hayden and Rebecca, and before that we had Nate, and then the first time it was Noah. And I want to do one with Adam, I think, soon, or something like that, or maybe like Quentin, or my mom and dad, because they really never are home for those ones. So I'm trying to find some people that are different for that, that we could do every single time. Maybe my one friend, Alex, uh, um, not Adam's brother, but another Alex, he's really funny, and he loves food, I don't know why, so I thought maybe I could get him on here. He's a really funny kid, he works... Yeah, anyways, um, so I wanted to see if maybe I could get him on there, but he works a lot, so I don't know if I can get him. But um, this would be really fun, guys, if we could do more munch packs like this. I know a lot, of, a lot of you guys don't like it, but a lot of you guys do, so I'm really trying to keep it so it's 99% Funko, and then the other 1% can be just, you know, munch pack every once in a while, or if I do an unboxing on T-Blocks, just something like that. 
And oh, another thing that I wanted to talk about, guys, was something that I had. Well, let me let me go grab one for you so I can give. I'll show you a closer up. So, the one thing that I wanted to talk about was this so you know how i get dorbs and pops but i was wondering if you guys wanted me to do a video where say i have a pop and i'll give you i'm giving you an example here i have chewbacca right this is the older chewbacca i like this one a lot better than the newer one i mean the newer one's cool i don't think i have the new chewbacca no i've got to have the new one somewhere I don't know. Anyways, guys, I'll give you an example here. So this is the old Chewbacca, and then we have the Dorb. So would you guys want maybe a review where I compare the Dorb to, or the Dorb to the Pop, guys? I think that'd be kind of fun. So it's like we do almost like a comparison where we find out the two, or maybe if I even have it in a few different lines besides just Dorbs and Pops, like even like Wacky Wobblers, I could do one with Chewbacca as well. I don't have the Wacky Wobblers up here right now. They're downstairs in Noah's Star Wars room, but um, it's just a fun idea that I thought we could do for the channel. Maybe we could do it with a bunch of different ones because I have a few different Star Wars ones and then I've got uh, Strawberry Shortcake and Stan Lee and all these cool different ones that I have in Dorbs. So I was thinking maybe I could do that where I compare Dorbs to Pops and do like that almost as like the review of me reviewing the Dorb as well as the Pops. So I know Dorbs reviews don't do as well on the channel because more, more people come for Pops, but that's kind of a way that I could do it where if you guys like Dorbs, I could throw them into a normal Pop review and then also have your, your Pop fix that you guys normally like. Um, but another thing is, guys, I always talk about how I do, like, stuff on this channel that you guys really like, and I've been doing more pop hunts recently, and I was wondering if you guys wanted me to kind of, like, slow down on them a bit, or did you guys want me to keep doing more pop reviews and top fives? Do you guys want me to bring back top fives, or do you have any suggestions for videos? Because if you do, put it down in the comment section below. But I know recently I've been doing a lot of pop hunts. I think I've done maybe five or six or seven in the last two or three weeks. And normally we maybe do one or even like max two a week. And I've been doing a lot recently just because we've been going out doing random things out and about. And I like to bring the camera with me in case I see something good. And I usually turn it into a hunt. So I thought if anybody wants me to kind of like slow down on those a bit or anything, just put it in the comment section below. Because I know a lot of you guys really do like it. But there is that one side of you that's like, I just want to see a new pop that came out or, you know, stay at home, show something different there, something like that. But, um, I don't know, just something that I wanted to talk about. Another thing is, like I said earlier, guys, if you want me to do anything specific or special that you guys think would be a cool video, or if you have any recommendations, just drop it down in the comment section below. I'd really like to hear your feedback or your uh, your video ideas because I can make it in a, re a reality if you guys want me to do it. Also, I um, have more pops over there, and I never really sit over there, guys. I always sit in this approximate section just because I like the light shining on me from the window. It looks nicer. But if there's any spot that you guys want me to sit that would be kind of cool like I could sit over by the six inch shelf or in front of the chase pops or by the Disney ones are kind of in the corner there but I can turn more to this side and make it a little bit better also I've been working on the shelves a bit so if anybody wants me to show off that actually I can show that off in a second I'll show that after we're done talking but I do have like the shelves I've been moving them around a bit and you guys can see here I've got the three pop boxes stacked up like a like almost like a staircase and then you can sit them that way but if there's any other way that you guys want me to stack them or if there's any way that you guys think's better than this one maybe I could try it out and do a whole video on that where we're like trying out your different ways of stacking pops and stuff like that I think that could be kind of cool if we did that and uh, another thing guys with the EB Games, and this is on for a few more days until the 26th of November, and a lot of you guys were talking about this in the video where I traded in video games for a pop vinyl. Um, no, it's not just trading it in for store credit. I know a few people were wondering about that, and it's also not just uh, it's also just available at EB Games and not GameStop. I know GameStop is having a four four pops for the price of three or three pop buy three pops get the fourth one free but now guys over at GameStop there's buy one get one for to buy one get two free clearance stuff and then the trade one get a free pop vinyl it has to be worth over three dollars the video game like I know I brought in a few of them one was only worth a dollar so I couldn't trade in that one but I do have this here guys if you want to see this you guys can check it out let me see if it'll focus for you guys just in case you guys want to trade it in or anything, it'd be kind of cool to see. Um, if you guys get anything good with yours, or maybe you guys could even get a chase pop just for trading in an old video game, I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, just kind of looking through this pamphlet, um, there's not too, too much. Just um, if you guys are from if you guys are from Canada or Australia or the UK, I believe they have EB games as well. But if you guys get the edge guard, you save 10% off all of your stuff. It's $10 for a platinum card, or you can slowly upgrade to it. If, but if you go there a lot like me and get pops all the time there, I think it'd be really just easier to pay $10. And then you really do get your money back because it's like every 
pop, if you buy over 10 pops, you're saving your money because each one's normally $8.99 and then you get 10% off. So it's kind of like, or no, they're $12.99, then you get 10% off. So it's like, if you buy like eight of them or nine of them, you kind of get your money back. And then if you keep buying more than that, you're saving even more than that. So it's pretty good. Also guys, I'm doing a lot of Christmas ones. So if there's any Christmas pops you guys recommend for me, I know I did just get a few in a pop hunt recently, but if you guys want me to, if you guys want to recommend, recommend any more for me stuttering there, um, you guys can, or any Christmas videos that you guys want me to do, put it in the comment section below. I know I'm asking you guys to do a lot in the comments, but um, that's pretty much it for today. Also, guys, if you wanted me to do a Q&A on this channel, I know we did one a while ago. Maybe you guys could ask me some questions later on. It'll, it's not going to be now or anything like that, but if you guys have anything at all, like recommendations for the channel or questions at all, just put it in the comment section below. And guys, don't forget to vote for me on collectorverse.com. Now, I know I say this all the time and it's getting kind of tedious, but I want you guys to go vote just because it's... Guys, I want you to go vote just because if we do win, guys, I'm going to be doing another giveaway. Now, giveaways are awesome on this channel. I always try and pick the best pops for you guys. I ship them off Amazon, so it's so much easier to get them to you guys. It's much quicker, and sometimes they'll give you the ones that might have a Chase variant in it, which would be really cool, or sometimes I can find Chases on there for pretty cheap. I know I found an 11 Chase on there for like 15 bucks. I didn't pick it up because the shipping was kind of expensive, but for you guys, I'd do that for sure. But if I find anything cool, guys, I'd ship it out to you guys if you win the giveaway. Again, there's just a lot of cool stuff. Go over to collectiverse.com, go to the collectible section. I'm in there for best Funko Pop channel and best Funko Pop review. I know I say it all the time, but I just wanted to get that out of the way and let me show you the kind of the cool way I've been doing my pop section recently or you know the new shelves. You know what I mean? So I did it over in this section. I didn't do it to this shelf because I think this one's just kind of nice for now and I might push everything over but I'm thinking about it. I might just leave it for now. But you guys can see here that there's an open space here and an open space here on the edges. So what I've actually done is pushed everything over to the left and then I added a six inch pop here and then I can add another three inch pop up top there. Now it does get rid of the space for like two pops right here but I think it's okay because it kind of sac I sacrificed that spot for a, a six inch one which would normally be over here and then I kind of have a bit of room in here, like I switched out uh, King Kong back there. He's over there, and now there's an open spot over there. So I kind of want to clear this shelf out and kind of spread them out around the entire shelf. I want to do this for a lot of spots, because right now I've got Grape Ape here, I've got uh, Hagrid, and then I even have Snoke up here. And then you guys can see I'm throwing in some extra pops in the back there. There's Lobot over there. But um, it gives me a little bit of extra room for stuff. And I just want to show you this, guys, in case anybody has the same shelves I do and wanted to do something with them like this. I think it'd be kind of cool. It gets rid of some stuff up here, too. I might st I might declutter this by doing this and maybe moving, like, the 6-inch ones or some random ones that I have up there down to here. But, um, yeah, guys, it's just something quick I wanted to show you. And I'm also – I also found this out, guys. I can put another box – like another three boxes up top there, and then it gives me four tall. So if you guys have these ones as well, pretty cool. I'm going to do that with this shelf as well, where I get rid of these three down here, and then make it go across, and then do another four one all the way up. I think that'd be really cool, and it also gave me some extra room over here, and you guys can even see my little young Rick back there. I just got him. If you guys didn't check out yesterday's video, go check it out. I did an unboxing on the Rick and Morty's uh, Mr. Meeseeks box. But um, anyways, guys, let's get back to the outro. Ooh, ooh, I started it. I started it. Ah. Anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Top Pops. If you guys like it, how I do these, you guys can, I'll do them more often where I can kind of give you updates on the channel. Now, I know there won't be any for a while now just because I gave you this huge update today, but I feel like that's off-centered. But, um, yeah, guys, if you guys want more of these, just let me know. I don't know if there's anything, suggestions for the channel, just let me know as well. Put in the comment section below. But, anyways, guys. This has been another episode of Top Pops. Thanks for watching. Still got love to give while we're young, dumb, young, young, dumb.